So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I bring you yet another amazing Viger farm. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So as of lately, the most popular farms right now are the ones where you trap the Red Reaper within that Umbra realm where you just go on and farm with that three times minimum multiplier on those Viger gains. Now yes these are probably the best right now in the game but for those of you who like me who like it a little more chill, a little more easier, a little less tedious to set up, today guys this one is for you. Now you can earn with this probably 4k per minute depends how quick you are. Me personally with my setup isn't right for this I'm not gonna lie. I mean I could respec and make it perfect for this, but as of right now, my current build, I mean, it takes me about a minute half, two minutes to run this, and I get an average of about 4.5k Viga in that time, which is still great, don't get it twisted, but I mean, you can make this way, way more efficient. All this consists of, guys, is you taking out a ton of enemies that surround a certain vestige, and then you simply reset at that vestige and reset all those enemies, rinse and repeat. It really is that simple. I mean, I made, I mean what you're watching right now on screen is pre-recorded footage, I think it was like up to about 80k, I made this in a little over 20 to 30 minutes, I mean probably weren't even that long to be honest but what I will say is I did mess up a few times but as soon as you get this down guys it is one of the better farms in the game without depending on trapping that red reaper. Now it takes place in the Revelation Depths Vestige of the Lost Berescu, I believe that's pronounced, Berescu. I ain't got a clue guys, you guys know I can't pronounce things on the best of days. I barely know my own name people. But yeah, once you come here guys, it really is this simple. Now you want to set up for taking out multiple enemies. The enemies are light work, I'm not going to lie to you. There's barely any hard hitters here, but there's just a multitude of them. So what you want to do guys is you spawn in at this vestige, and then you simply go into that umbral realm. And then what you do guys is, well what I do is anyway, I sort of run upstairs, I take out the two shields that protect the enemies, and then just lay down using my radiant spells. Again guys, my build isn't set up for any kind of spells, I just threw these on to make this more efficient on myself. If you guys are set up for any kind of air of effect spell, you're going to do this in twice the quicker time as what you'll see me do on screen now. So I take out all these dudes up top, then I run down to the bottom, run down the steps, run down the bottom, and I get a multitude of more enemies spawn upon me and I just take them all out then I simply guys just rinse and repeat this farm over and over again and it's pretty quick I'm not gonna lie it's probably the best one I've seen in the game where there isn't no glitches involved where there ain't no exploits involved I mean it is really really good so yeah take advantage of it while you can like I said revelation depths the vestige of the lost rescue I will say this is kind of mid game more towards the later game but hey if you're here if you've gone through the mines and you've activated this vestige, you can always come back here and use this whenever you need those quick levels. I mean, it really is that good. Again, guys, me personally, I was earning about 4.5k per run, but I have got a certain few things, which I will talk about in a second, applied to my setup just to maximise those Viger gains. But I mean, without any of that, you can still earn upwards of 3k per run. And it's all dependent on how fast you can run this, all to do with your loadout, like I said. But again, mid to late game players, you shouldn't really have a problem here whatsoever. It should be set up to take these enemies out. Like I said, they're all light work with no problem whatsoever. Now, in regards to making this more efficient on yourself with those Viger gains, there are a few things you can apply to your loadout. First thing being the moth ring. Now, the moth ring will add a 10% increase on those Viger gains which is pretty cool I mean for a ring you just slot on it's not too bad whatsoever but if you're at the stage guys where you can apply those runes to your loadout and to your weapons uh, simply guys try and farm those Neelak runes and the Neelak runes come from the Mimic Moths they are a rare drop but again it's definitely worth your time in trying to get some of these especially if you're a Viger farmer like me now, like I said, they drop from the Mimic Moths. They are pretty rare, I won't lie. But if you're having trouble finding any of these, do join my Discord link down below, people. I'm sure someone there will help you out and trade you. 
Now, once you have those knee lack wounds, you want to apply them to your weapons. A max leveled weapon can apply. You can apply three of these runes to it. Obviously, it's dependent on the weapon. Not all weapons can apply this room. I mean, a max level weapon should be able to apply one of these. But there are certain weapons in this game that you can find. They can apply three of these runes to it. And the thing is, yes, we know that it decreases that physical damage. But if you put three of these on a left-handed weapon and then you two-hand your main-handed weapon, you don't really see much of a damage decrease. Not that I've noticed anyway. So yes, guys, do what you got to do. Muffering, Nilak runes, these are great for Viger farming. Now, if you don't know the location of the Muffering, I'll show you on screen in a quick second. But all in all, guys, it still is a great, great Viger farm. Even if you come here without any means of increasing that Viger gain, you're still going to earn, like I said, upwards of 3k per run, depending on how fast you can do this, guys. It is a pretty farm. It isn't a boring one, too, and you ain't dependent on trying to trap that Red Reaper which can sometimes take up to 10-15 minutes to even set up and a lot of the time you fail doing that anyway so yes guys do what you gotta do there's plenty of like farms in this game this is just another one added to that list guys if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out leaving a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more lords of the fallen be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one